Hello, and welcome to another episode of QA Bootcamp. My name is Dan Campbell, and I will be uh, guiding you through today's episode, which is mission testing, or basically just any kind of objective-based uh, testing, so missions, activities, whatever have you. So the first thing I would do is get my handy-dandy documentation thing up. Uh, I use Excel for uh, spreadsheets. Uh, I basically, what I'm doing is uh, in this mission, I'm going to be, and I think I covered this in uh, one of the live streams, but um, basically what I do is I write out each and every, when I go into the mission, I write out each and out of every objective and component of that mission, and then sort of try to break down what I could do with them. So obviously for each mission, there's going to be the player. All right. Um, let's see. Let's say player dies. And also what I'll do is I'll break it down into objectives as well. So Let's see, because each mission usually has different uh, stages to it. So there's like objective one, objective two, until you eventually reach the end. Um, so let's just say this is under objective one, objective number one. And I would actually give them a little more descriptive names if I uh, knew what they were called, but I don't. Um, okay, player dies, that's one thing. Uh, Carlos is also a thing, so Carlos, he is the character that is sort of following you around. So Carlos dies. Um, okay, so let's try out those real quick. Alright, I'm supposed to be sneaking up and killing this person, but I'm not gonna. Kill the doctor. The doctor's another thing. Alright, let's go ahead and say the doctor. The doctor. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Control Z. Alright, doctor. Um, player dies. And we can get as detailed as we want for these. So let's say player dies via doctor. So this is objective one. Let's just say kill the doctor, I think is the number one. Kill doctor. This makes for very exciting viewing, I'm sure. Okay, so kill doctor's name of the objective. And let's see. Uh, let's see, stuff to try to test. I'm sure I can come up with a much better name for that if I wanted, but I'm not gonna. But anyway, I would get in far more detail, make it look a lot prettier if this were an official thing. So you may ask yourself, why in the world would I go through the trouble of uh, making a test plan if I'm testing it as I go? You know, like, or one, because you might want to test this later on as well. Oh, get them. Um, you may want to test these out later on, you know, just further into the thing, because maybe they change something about mechanically about the mission. And then, uh, you know, later on you have to go through the mission again and make sure it's completely and totally, uh, you know, safe to, or, you know, bug free again, and you go through it. But a bigger reason would be that you could possibly apply the ideas that you get while testing this mission into uh, another mission, and then just sort of look at all, oh, I tested all of these things in mission one. I should probably try and uh, do it on mission, you know, seven as well, the other one I'm doing. Uh, what you could also do is other people could look at the test plan that you used, and they're like, oh, I didn't even think about, uh, doing that on my guy like i didn't think about being killed by the doctor i didn't think about you know having carlos be killed um, i just didn't think about all that and uh they'll then be able to apply it to their own okay all right so that's another thing we could say downing plus Reviving Carlos. I think that's his name. Pretty sure that's his name. Now we can say downing and not reviving him. And I wonder what it would be like. Uh, another thing is I could uh, test out downing Carlos and then uh, trying to leave the area where he's down and see what that does. 
These are all ideas that you could write down. So Carlos dies. Say via player. Player. Carlos dies via enemies. Carlos downed plus leave area. And you could also combine that with uh, what if a Carlos is downed whenever the cop or whenever the doctor dies. Uh, Carlos downed when doctor dies. And you can break these down into categories. You can lay this out however you want. Uh, it's just whenever I'm first uh, making a test plan, I try to keep it just all in one big block of stuff to try. Um, dies. And I'll give that a pass. Now, here's the, another thing you want to put in your test plans. You want to put ticket number. And the reason you want to put that there is because if this fails, you'll put a ticket number there. And that way you'll know, um, you'll know to check that or somebody else runs across this exact same problem. You can be like, oh, here's the ticket number right here. Um, so yeah, basically you want to make sure you document everything you can. And on top of that, what if, uh, say the player dies via doctor and then it causes some kind of minor bug. So that would be a fail. And then I bug it and put it, you know, like INC, blah, 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 whatever it would be. Um, and it gets marked shippable. Like the, the production takes a look at it and they decide, hey, this is not a big deal. You can totally, we can live with this bug. It's not a huge deal. So what you'll then do is have documentation saying, yeah, sure, it's a fail, but we have documentation from management saying they're completely cool with it. They know about it, no big deal. And then that way, if somebody else uh, comes across that issue, be like, hey, this is a bug. You could say, point out, yeah, it's a bug. We know, but it got marked shippable in this ticket number right here. So um, we shall keep, uh, that's pretty much the gist of it, to be honest, uh, running test plans and uh, running mission testing. Uh, it does seem kind of clinical um, to do it this way. Um, and it is, but it also involves yeah, quite a bit of, come true. Now let's move. it also does inv still involve quite a bit of imagination just because you have to think of the things to do. Um, but really, that's pretty much all there is to it. I make it sound super simple, you know, no big deal at all. But uh, that's pretty much what you're doing uh, when you're doing mission testing is you're looking to the objectives, looking at all the crazy stuff you can do with the objectives. All right, so abandon my follower while he's down. I don't remember how to, <laughs> how to break my weapon wheel. There it is. All right. Now what if I die while Carlos is down? What if uh, he dies? Uh, while well, I'm, I don't think you can go down as the player and change over to. I don't know. It's been a really long time. Carlos died. There we go. And we would probably give that a pass because everything seems to be. Let's make sure he's good. Okay, come on. Now let's say if I downed Carlos before we even killed the doctor, what would happen? And that's just a thing, uh, kind of thing you would just write down and find out. So I would say uh, Carlos killed, and actually that would be an objective number one. Uh, yeah, we're still under objective number one. All right, Carlos killed before doctor. And it seems like a minor thing. Of course, if it worked after you killed the doctor, it's going to work beforehand. But you never know. You honestly will never know what kind of stuff will work uh, until you try it out. And that's our job as testers is to try all that stuff out. It's not to, you know, and sure, probably in all likelihood. Yeah, in all likelihood, it wouldn't be a... Uh, It probably won't result in a bug, you know, him being down beforehand. But uh, this is the kind of thing, actually, I would bug up uh, because you'll notice he stopped. He didn't talk. He didn't give me the uh, the voice line when he was down. And I'm not sure if that's something that the designers would be comfortable with or not. So I would say, hey, I, I downed him before I downed the doctor. And then let me see down Carlos. I would give that a fail.
and I would say, hey, blah, 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 whatever the ticket number is. And then the ticket, I would say, hey, he doesn't play his voice lines, you know, giving the player his options um, before, you know, uh, if he's down during during the uh, time he's supposed to play that. And that may be very much as designed. That may be say, hey, we don't want Carlos talking whenever he's a heap on the ground. That makes total sense. Uh, or they could say, we want it to where, you know, you won't even get the next objective until Carlos is up and standing. Um, so yeah, that's not us for his testers to make that decision. That's up to uh, production and design. Um, but yeah, we wouldn't even make suggestions. Uh, that's another big thing, as I think I forgot to write off uh, in my video about don't piss off developers with uh, your bugs. Uh, being um, don't offer suggestions unless asked to. Uh, what the uh for what to do you know for for what the issue might or for you know how to fix the bug because as qa we're just supposed to find them that's it that's all we're supposed to do but anyway i've rambled on long enough uh thank you for suffering through this incredibly long video <laughs> um where i don't really say too much but anyway uh that's it for me yeah, it's a dream come yeah, true. Yeah, the dream come true. Move. Let's move. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. That's pretty much uh, mission testing and test plans, uh, how I put them together. And uh, it should result in a lot of bugs if you uh, do it, uh, you know, you in both the clinical and imaginative way uh, that I like to do it. And uh, thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.